Hi there, hello, and howdy to all my little piglets out there. This is the, my second attempt at this, so hopefully I'll get it this time. Um, Betty is complete, as you can see. Um, she had to lose a little weight to get completed, but uh, she is she is complete. Before we get to to the flip through, let me just say thank you and hugs and kisses to to new subscribers, Mrs. Hedges Junk Journals and more, um, or um, Hedges, Mrs. Hedges or Mrs. Hedges. I'm I'm not sure how which way to pronounce it, but thank you so much. And Dean Nicole, uh, they have joined the pig army. <laughs> That's what I used to call all my friends that would buy me pigs uh, on any any occasion or no occasion. <laughs> I said, you're part of the pig army. Okay, so Betty. Betty lost her middle. She was so fat, so fat, that... Um, and it was just ridiculous. I, di I didn't. I would have had to have had um, hmm, a lot bigger spine than that <laughs> to get her. But as you can see, um, it, here's a picture of Betty, and I used um, my dies, uh, my oval dies, to cut about five this size and glued them together. To, to make this oval frame for Betty. Put a little bit of that wood petrifier on it and let it harden up so it um, it should last. And we've got some little uh, accents of um, crocheted trim. We've got some pearls and this would be a vintage button that belonged to Betty's mother. And I have adorned it with pearl. And the way I do these, um, the whole, the um, grommet that I made, I've threaded um, um, just a stretchy hair tie through it. And then I, um, that's how, how it's closed. Now, what when I do this button closure, what I do is I pick out, the button that I want and then I find a somewhat smaller button just a little bit smaller and in this case if this had a shank on it so I had to take the shank off um, and any any whenever you're going to glue buttons together you have to have two flat surfaces of course and I used glossy accents to glue them together so they should be on there pretty good. And um, then on the spine, I ran two pieces of lace down together so they look as though they're one. And then I accented it with this little pearl and flower trim <clears throat> that I had. And of course, you will remember the dangles. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let me just. Let me just do this as if nobody has seen any of it. <laughs> How about that? So we have coin flip dangles uh, at the the uh, and round rounded tabs at the two signatures, and they're they're decorated and they have little little tiny keys that go, that go with them. Now when you open Betty up, over here we have some. Um, some of that crocheted trim that's so pretty and I've put a few um, washi flowers in there and whoever ends up with Betty um, I'm thinking about putting uh, this book belongs to here and uh, but they you can there's some places where you can just put what you want and you um, this is a little bag here that opens up, um, and I've put a couple of little surprises in there, and <clears throat> this is really cute. 
I'm going to do this again. Uh, the paper, where did I get that? I think, I think it was Edith on Scrapbooking with me inspired that. And of course, inside the little coin flips, or the half, half a coin flip, uh, are pictures of Betty. And so, in the first signature, we have a copy of a telegram congratulating her parents when she was born. And we have the uh, copy of her recital program, um, dance recital program. And uh, you can journal on the backs of both of those. We have a piece of printed vellum. We have a journaling spot there. Um, two belly bands with round journaling spots tucked in. Accented with the little pearls and lace. And here we have a vellum envelope with a vintage photograph on the front, which happens to be my mama, <laughs> my mother, when she was about 14. It's hard to believe, huh? Um, and some little journaling cards for here, and a little journaling card here. Um, and then you have your, your writing tablet here. This is a writing board. This is to aid in journaling, so you can put it behind whatever you're journaling on, um, and keep it, um, it, it make it easier to write. How about that? A little decorative cut out there. We have, um, a large pocket. Here with a journaling card, uh, and it is original. <laughs> and a tag with a cutout of Betty and her mom as they're shopping in downtown Tuscaloosa. That's Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where football is king. <laughs> so and in the center of the signature I, I, I'm, you can tell I'm tired I'm sorry guys. I want to take a nap but I just I, I wasn't that tired but we have a number 10 envelope sewn into the center and um, each side has a tag and with journaling uh, spots on the back and we have little tucks here and as I said a little journaling paper there and decorations front and back collaged on there here is a magnetic I hope you can see this a magnetic uh, snippet uh, over the page snippet <laughs> then it's holding a little um, flip out Gail, Gail Flip is what uh, Corey Diamond calls it because Gail was the first one she saw do that. I don't really know who the first one I saw um, do that was. I, I really don't. I, I, I can imagine. Um, the little flower needs some loving care there and glue. And we have a, a part of a glassine bag. Um, Holding some ephemera and trimmed out, and a Roxy creation, one of Rachel's um, challenges. So when we make this, and this is something that um, I came up with. I I'm sure somebody inspired it or I saw someone do it, but I don't remember. I just have to think about it. I thought it would be cute. I'm gonna go ahead while I, I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue out because that's one of the things I do when I do a flip through is check to see what needs gluing or see what 
needs a tag or, or what that sort of thing. That's not wanting to, to catch. Let me get a my big honking paper clips and see if I can just help that along. There we go. There we go. And a little corner tuck over here with some ephemera or journaling cards. And a pocket here with a tag. And here is another one that I came up with. Uh, I'm sure someone has, again, I'm sure someone else has done it in the past. But we have a large tag and a junk mail envelope with a stamped image in the in the window here um, and my own four out of 100 mark down here to make it look more like a, a print <laughs> and it's trimmed in lace and the envelope was so was very big and it had this big window so I thought of flipping it up onto itself so it's actually wrapped around the page this way and this way um, and of course this was glued down before I flipped this up and glued it and we have a little vellum pocket in the front with some of my homemade yellowed tape some uh, ephemera for journaling and a tag with uh, journaling on the spot on the back and the other side of that printed vellum and here we have a double pocket I think this was inspired by Cory Dahman maybe we have a little journaling card up there and a little notebook right there in this pocket and at the back of the first signature we have a pocket made from uh, a vintage grocery receipt and uh, one of um, Gail's uh, woven tags or in this case journal card and and here will be a spot where whoever purchases it can put their own of course you, you know they could take out anything they wanted and add their own ephemera. And here's where that middle signature was and no longer is. And I just added some crochet trim. And if there's room, which there looks to be, I will, might add a, a pen, a, a gift to jail pen for there. Here is a copy of a war ration book from the 40s, that, that Second World War. And we have a double corner tuck. It's an over the page corner tuck and I believe I did a video showing how to make this. Uh, Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Da is where I got the my version from and she got the inspiration from Henny Trump and I believe I have might have both of them linked below. And this is a picture of Betty when she was a teenager. And we have a little um, cluster here. And another coin flip with a photo of Betty and her buddy playing, oop, hang on, playing dress up. Cute. Okay, and I know this flower is wanting to flip up, so let me go ahead and put some glue on it to keep it from misbehaving. Alright, and a page for writing, and a pocket, large pocket and the large tag made from a um, magazine page and we have a little heart dangle it is not a hidden paper clip but there is a paper clip in there 
and that is uh, clipped onto a bulb pin to make it dangle. And I will show that, show you how to do that in uh, in a video, maybe maybe the next video, as a matter of fact. And um, the big, uh, com the, if you watched Calm Collage, you will have seen uh, how to do these. And I used quite a few of them in uh, the journal. This is just a flip out for writing. Um, for writing there. And I will put a little something in that pocket. Another page for writing. And here is the center envelope. Only this time, the pocket's opening is at the top. And there is a little belly band on that side. Little postcards, journal cards in the pockets. And a little belly band on that side with birdies. Okay, another writing page. Here is a enclosed belly band uh, flip edition that uh, was inspired by Corey Dahman. Here's, and there's a little tag and step card in the back. And here this was inspired by Gail Agostinelli. And uh, I think I've got her link below. I may I do not have this particular video, but I believe she called it a quilted pocket. I call it a um, four-way pocket or pocket quartet, something along those lines. And a collaged tag inserted there. Uh, page for writing. And then a flip out for writing. And in the very back we have a, another side pocket with a journaling card that has its own pocket with a little um, round spot for journaling and a cute get it little ephemera tucked in there. But you can also write on the back of that if you felt so inclined. And of course you've got plenty of writing space here. Then on the very back flap, of course, you have the little small pocket that holds my card, which you are welcome to take out. <laughs> but it's got all my information in there should you need it. Okay, and um, the back is just maybe a little fuzz on it. That's free. But uh, nothing decorated on the back. So there you have it. That is the Betty Complete from start, filmed from start to finish. Yay! <laughs> and I'm pretty well pleased with how she came out. She will be going up for sale in my Etsy store pretty soon. And, um, I hope that, um, that someone who has watched her progress, uh, is would be the one that uh, ends up with her. But, if you, this is your first time watching, uh, you can go back. I've got um, the playlist for this. is called The Betty. And you can watch all the, the progress of her from start to finish. Okay. I think that's it for now. And um, so I will say Stay well, take care, hugs and kisses until we meet again. Bye-bye.